pro and con, please make it clear so that it can become part of the record. Somebody's got to be first. So, according to the policy statement 606, uh, which is public need, there are eight variables that need to be met by us as Nation. One, the first one would be ge ge geography, which basically geographic that they have the best, res that they have a response, and that fellow has the best response in that area. Next one will be population, size, density, and projections. Hatsala right now is serving that area for decades and will go on and continue to serve that area. Level of care, um, they're requesting a BLS. Right now Hatsala is operating an ALS, so proving that will be a step down from what already exists. Quality, reliability, and response pattern of existing services, Hatsala is known for the best response team, best response time out there. Excuse me, John, could you yes. speak up, please? I apologize. Where would you like me to stop the phone again? No, no, keep that. Start over. Okay. Type of service, emergency and non-emergency, Hatsala provides both emergency and non-emergency. Special need, there was no claim of special need. Service effectiveness, cost, and operation, Hatsala is Existing service is one of the most effective in the country. Of the local factors, there are none besides for a misrepresentation of religion. It still does not establish a need. Even if yes, they still have seven previous variables that still have not been met. Simply put, there is a lack of resource and it should be denied as a seller right now has been caring for this community for decades. and they will continue to serve them for decades. Thank you for your time. Nancy. Nancy Benedetto. With all due respect, Mr. Schiller, certainly has provided wonderful service to our EMS community. That's not the issue and that's not what we're debating here this evening. What we are looking at this evening is there is a lack of evidence that existing resources will be reallocated to fulfill the maintaining modesty for observant Jewish women. That is a key piece here. Secondly, we are looking at special needs. There's a listing of eight or whatever number of 0606 qualifications. One of them is level of care, level of care, um, at the BLS level certainly is, a, is an appropriate level of care. It is not that it is the best, it is the beginning part of what this application is looking and seeking for. Special needs is an item that needs to be addressed and that is exactly what, what um, is being sought on, with this application. That there would be maintaining modesty for observant Jewish women. We are looking, that is a special need. So I'm asking people to look at it from that perspective. Lisa? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Further comments? Schenker. Uh, Joseph Schenker. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm looking right now at the report from the hearing officer, and I just have one question about his summary comments and recommendations. He states, yet we have the equally undeniable fact that perhaps 60% of women involved emergency medical needs are either being not met or being met to some degree in contravention of their cultural religious concerns. That sounds like a fact that was proven somewhere. I, I'm just curious where that number comes from um, because I don't know that it's undeniable or deniable at all. I don't know where this information comes from. So it, it reads as if that is the rule, and I don't know where that rule comes from. So my only point is that I don't know how you make a statement like that. Anything else? That's it. Scott? You read the transcript, I'd sell of this, I'd sell of that. I could care less. <coughs> this has nothing to do with Hatsala. This has to do with Ezra's Nashim and their proving need. 
There are eight variables, as we've all heard ad nauseum, so I will not repeat them. But the variables and the requirements set forth by 0606 were not met. They may want to be met, there may be a desire to meet them, as it has been stated in the application submitted by Ezra's Nashim, but we are not here to debate wishes, wants, or desires. We're here to discuss and to opine and to vote upon 0606 as a policy. <coughs> and only those eight variables, religion is not one of those variables, and I submit to my fellow members of the council that should we tread into those dangerous, murky waters, we will be in a world of hurt. Um, to be clear, no, nowhere in 0606 does it identify one must need meet all eight of those components. Therefore, it is not necessary for <coughs> eight of those to be met. One, one, and that would be special needs, could qualify as a very important factor in terms of meeting this application. However, special needs was not addressed by the applicant in their application. Okay, please address all comments to the chair. Thank you. Are there other comments? Jack Joseph mentioned that there is no, no Jacob. There is no need for re there, there was no reallocation of services. I don't believe there is a need for reallocation of services. I think everything the way it is now. Thank you. Anyone? This is the guidelines by which the DOH evaluates every CON that comes before it. And they're empowered by statutory authority to make the decision. Yes, please read the motion exactly as it is now. Remsco, New York City, which has conducted a public hearing and has carefully reviewed the information, materials, and records in this matter, recommends that the hearing officer's report in the matter of the application submitted by Shate Deborah Inc., sorry, I butchered the name, DBA Ezra Snashem, for a new ambulance service in the city of New York, specifically Borough Park, a section of Kings County, as identified in the attached map, be accepted and the application be recommended for approval. Please answer in favor, against, or abstain. Mr. Chairman, uh, so uh, the vote is to accept the report and uh, approve no, the which application. Report? There is no report. The report is a hearing officer. Yes. That's what the motion is. Accept. Yes. Yes. Accept. That is. Yes. So we'll be with Dove Jacobs. Against. Samia McEachin. Allison Berg. <coughs> Dominic Battinelli. In favor. Grace Cacciola. Abstain. Christine Mazzola. Abstain. Joseph Marcelino. Abstain. John Johnstone. In favor. Mordecai Goldfeather. Abstain. Travis Kessel. In favor. Jerry Gelbard. Not in favor. Joseph Schenker. Abstain. Scott Orlansky. Opposed. Mordecai Lack. Opposed. Martina Baccarella. Not in favor. Vincent Branco. Not here. Nancy Benedetto. In favor. Arthur Cooper. In favor. Robert Krupe. Not in favor. Megan Farley. In favor. Manfred Fuchs. Against. Sean Graves. I'm not in favor. Jerry Gumbo. Opposed. Residia Langston. Opposed. Dennis Laurie. Not in favor. Brian Levinsky. In favor. Mitchell Powell. Not in favor.
Seven in favor, 12 against, five abstain, and two absent. The motion therefore fails. It fails on all counts because you don't have enough votes either way. So that's how it goes.